A handful of rocks, keepsakes from a house in Haifa, carried over in the pocket of an ancestor, pushed out of Palestine. A life left behind three quarters of a century ago. It may not seem like much, but for them, a cherished family treasure. Parts of East Baghdad are unmistakably Palestinian, home to generations since the 1948 Nakba. Stateless, often trapped in poverty, no clear future. But there remains here an unwavering sense of Palestinian identity. They may not be enduring the indignities of occupation or the perils of war. But Palestinians watching what is happening in Gaza say the grief is crippling. My cousin was a pharmacist. He was killed in a strike in the first 10 days of the war, along with his mother and sister. And they are still under the debris of their demolished house. Suffering years of turmoil alongside Iraqis, those who could left Baghdad. Moving to safer countries, numbers here dwindling. For the few thousand left the Haifa Club is a place where they can stay connected to where they came from by connecting with each other. Fading photographs, reminders of more hopeful times. A wall of heroes, both old and new. But sharing the pain does not always make it less. We can't handle seeing images of butchered children in their mother's laps. It's a crime against humanity. It's rejected in all times. Even the Mongols did not do what Israel has done. Ali Abu Hashim lives in the back of the club. He was five when he came to Baghdad, now bedridden, cared for by friends. At the end of a life spent waiting to return to a homeland he's never truly known. If you offer any Palestinian the whole world, he will reject it and only want to return to his homeland. We call upon the world to give us back our lands, our rights. People cannot do much. Our Arab states have their own problems. There is so much injustice. Anger gives way to grief. In a room adorned with messages of hope, peace, justice. An old man weeps for all that's been lost and all that's been denied. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.